they've got it kind of stylized, so it really does really kind of look like her. But her face, if you put a, a line up there, you know, it's pretty vertical. See her pencil, it's, you know, you go, get, it's, from her chin to her forehead, it's just In really a school really like this, which is an open admission school, and uh, there are people here for all kinds of different reasons, I can't really, this is not like a, like a high-tone uh, art academy where you can really lay down the law. Uh, I don't really have a stick. All I've got is a carrot. So the best thing I can do is to try to make friends with them and really, uh, you know, try to get a rapport going with them so that they can approach what uh, a lot of them don't realize is probably the most difficult thing that I'll ever try to learn to do. I'm trying to figure out how that lines up with this stuff. If I hold my pencil right like that, at least the core of the students in the class are, you know, they're artists and I'm an artist, and we kind of are doing this together. One of the greatest things about the whole job has been that, you know, if I am having some kind of an issue with my own art, I, uh, I bring that to the class. And if they're having issues with their art, they bring it to the class. And so we're all kind of, it's a, it's a little bit more like a collective than a class in a way, you know, because I learn as much from them as they learn from me. I think the thing that I like the most is he's always really aware of when people are ready for critique versus when they're still in progress. So, you know, he makes his rounds around the class, but he definitely gives you time to to work on your drawing. And when he comes back around, he'll, he'll stand there for a second, and then you kind of are able to welcome him into whatever you're doing. And he's always very constructive with his feedback, so. Give you the standard lecture that uh, you should really have, especially since this is going to be such a big part of the drawing, the shape of her hair. You should get yeah. that in there before you get any more little details, little hand details or wrist details or anything like that. You want to work on the whole thing all at once or you will find that there will be problems. Yeah. And with art, you know, I don't know why it is. Uh, it's a really peculiar thing, but people take it to heart. And uh, if you make a harsh judgment of a person's artwork, you're making a harsh judgment of the person. And it can be pretty tough for a person. I, I, so I, I try to be really careful not to, you know, to, to be too harsh. Uh, and I also try to keep it practical, you know. I try to, I, I try to tell them, you know, hey, you know, that ear is a little high. Or uh, maybe you should make that nose a little longer. Or the eye should be a little closer to the nostril. And I'll stand with them and look at the model and their drawing and talk it over. <laughs> He's very, um, he sets a good tone with the artist about the limits of modeling and how to approach the model. And um, he also has a really good perspective on the whole idea of nudity for art. And um, that makes it easy to not wear a robe in front of 12 different people and because it's all art oriented. And he's really interactive with the students and casual with me in conversation while I'm modeling. And yeah, it's really fun being in class because everybody has a good time, I feel like. I don't have any commitment to realism or anything like that. I uh, don't really consider myself a realist painter in any meaningful sense, but that's something I can help people with. I can't make you more or less creative, but I can help you to learn to draw. You know, I think really you don't teach people to draw, you teach them how to teach themselves how to draw. Art is really always fundamentally self-taught. You know, it's not like math where you can really, you know, where there's a beginning and a middle and an end. It's really a, uh, a pretty complex process and it's really subjective. And success is really subjective and failure is really subjective.